Okay, so at this point, we have 90 points on the MP. We haven't uh, fixed our check style uh, problems yet. Um, if we run the grader, what you're going to see is that it's going to complain because we haven't commit, we haven't committed our work. And we also want to submit our work so that we get the official points on the assignment. I want to be very, very clear about this. The grading task that we give you does not represent an official score. In order to get an official score, it has to show up on the website. So right now, my best score on the website is a zero. I have not finished the MP. I haven't made much progress. I'm going to show you how to submit your work and how to do this properly. Okay, so there's, then there's two steps of this. You can do them together. I'll show you how to do them. Um, the first step is that I need to commit my work. Okay, so uh, I'm going to go over here. Uh, and you'll see that uh, this here it is. So, so this is the commit dialog in Android Studio. When you open this up, it's going to show you the things that have changed since the last time you committed your work. This is part of Git. Please go through the Git tutorial so that you get comfortable with this. So the idea is Git tracks the changes from commit to commit. And so if I go down here, what you can see is that I have made a change to main activity.java, I changed search course to search courses. That's how I got the, the points on this, right? I, I, I finished the very, very simple test view. Okay. It asked me to write a commit message. I also added my ID to id.text so the grader can identify me. Um, okay. So I'm going to say uh, the commit message is uh, fixed um, main activity title and added id to id.x. Okay, and you should try to get in the habit of writing commit messages that are descriptive about what you actually accomplished. Okay, so uh, if you go down here and hit commit, let's do it. Now I go back here and if you come back to this page and start waiting, you're going to be here a while because in order to submit your work, you not only have to commit it, you also have to push it. Let me be very clear about this. When you commit, does not matter to us. It's when you push. If you forget to push and your grade doesn't appear on the official website, you have not earned those points. And if you push late, you will lose points for that late push. So don't do that. Um, all right, so here's what we need to do to push. I'm going to go over here to Git, and there's a push option, okay? It's going to open up this. It's going to show me the commits that are going to be pushed. And now I'm going to hit push. You can do this when you commit. If you hit that little drop down next to commit, there's an option to commit and push, which will do them both at the same time, which can be pretty useful. I'm doing them separately just to show you what happens if you forget. Okay. So I'm going to hit push. And now it's going to push to GitHub. Okay. Now, immediately you see on the website, that I have a commit that is currently being graded. If you don't see this, like right away, it's possible that there's a problem. The biggest mistake people make is they forget to modify id.txt. Didn't put their ID, particularly at this point in the semester. Once you get that ID set up properly, you're good to go. You don't ever, ever change that file again, and it's just going to work, and you can commit, you can push, and you can push. Um, so, you know, I'm waiting here. Uh, grading for the MP in this class takes a few minutes. Uh, it's not instant. Uh, we have some tests that we need to run and particularly if you submit around the time of a deadline, it can take a little while. But you'll see here I'm submitting and in, you know, the MP is not even out yet and it took, you know, maybe a minute or so. And you'll see now on the official MP write-up, I can see my score, 90 out of 100, doing pretty good. Uh, the message that I added and information about sort of when things uh, when when things were submitted. So it looks like it took uh, like 40 seconds to grade. That's pretty good. Um, down here, there's output from the auto grader, and this is essentially doing the same thing that your grader does locally, except it's doing it on a machine that we have in our cloud. So you can use the output here to figure out what's going wrong. There are times when the output here isn't going to match what you expect. And there's ways to fix these problems. You have to know what they are to find out. You look a little bit here at the output and the staff will be able to help you with this as well.
Okay, so that's the process. Now again, until your score is up here on the website, you are not done. You have not earned that score. If you run the local grader and it says you got a 50 and you forget to push, you don't get a 50, right? Particularly if the deadline passes, now we're talking, you're gonna lose half credit. I really don't like that, right? I mean, we built this system on purpose to facilitate you understanding how you're doing. So that's why we grade things immediately when we get them. That's why we have a website that allows you to see everything immediately as it's happening. Um, use these things to your advantage, right? Don't wait to push. There's no reason to. As soon as you have finished you know, a particular part of the assignment, commit, push, see your score on the website, and then you can keep working or you can go out, get some food or whatever, right? Just don't wait. There's no reason to. And in fact, the earlier you push, the faster things will grade because we get a lot of submissions, as you would expect, right around the deadline. Okay, so now we've gone through the entire process from getting the MP to loading into Android Studio, understanding the workflow, how to modify parts of the assignments in small pieces while we run the test suites and then submit our work and we see our score on the official website. All of this, I'm sure, seems very intimidating to some of you and I get that. And all I have to say to that is it'll get easier, right? Be brave. Give yourself time. Be brave. Don't worry about modifying stuff. Try things. Experiment. You know, run on hunches and clues and hints. And most importantly of all, ask for help and get help from our course staff. All right, we are here with you 100% of the way. Good luck uh, getting started this week. Um, and if you need any help, we got you.